Hey, it's Scotty. As a Los Angeles guinea pig rescue volunteer, when I'm facilitating adoptions, people often ask, do guinea pigs need shots? Now, during the adoption process, if people bring their own piggies to meet a friend and we facilitate a, a play date, or if people are looking for a bonded pair or a group of piggies, we do outgoing health checks for free, of course, because we don't want to adopt sick piggies. And during that process, people often ask, do I need to take them to the vet to get shots? Do they need anything like that? And the answer is no, but they do need this. Now you're saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this looks like a shot. This is not a shot, actually. Um, this is ivermectin. This is a liquid, and we do pull it into a syringe here. But this syringe is actually a blunt syringe. You can get these online. And this just sticks inside the rubber part here so that you can draw out the liquid. Now this is an oil-based liquid, ivermectin, and it we take this off like this and we put one drop on your piggy's ears. Now, as a preventative, this prevents mites, lice, and parasites. And we recommend that you put this on your piggies every three months, one drop on the ear. Now, you will just put it one drop on the outside of the ear flap. And what I like to do is then fold their ear flap and it rubs in. Because it's oil-based, it penetrates the skin and it gets absorbed in the little blood vessels in the ear and one drop that's all you need one nice drop and that will be a preventative for mites lice and parasites now this also acts as a cure for mange mites now i have an entire video about mange mites and i will include that video here but at the end, I'll also include a couple different videos about mange mites. So mange generally shows itself as hair loss, kind of a scraggly hair loss, and it's more on the sides, and sometimes it even looks like a V shape on their back. It's accompanied with a lot of scratching, and the pigs get very itchy. Now. It's not to be confused with ringworm, and in fact, here at the end here, I'll make a, I'll put a video up called Mange or Ringworm, What's the Difference? They're both skin conditions, but mange is mange mites. They are uh, tiny microscopic mites. They're a parasite. They live under the skin, and that's what this can help prevent and cure, okay? But ringworm is a fungus, despite its... It's somewhat deceptive name. Ringworm is not a worm. It is a fungus. It just often, especially in humans, it ends up looking like a ring as that fungus grows out on the skin. So two different things. This ivermectin will not cure ringworm. You need an antifungal cream and antifungal shampoo. I also have videos about ringworm in the illness section of my free guinea pig care guide, which there will also be a link to at the end here. So I just wanted to clear that up. Guinea pigs do not need shots. They don't need shots for any kind of measles and mumps and things like like we do when we're going to school but they do benefit from ivermectin it's just like i said a simple drop on the ear and we do it every three months and if you do see mange or ringworm or lice or any kind of parasite like that you can do a treatment you can do one drop one drop a week for three weeks if it's really bad, you can do one drop every three days, three drops total, that's all you really need. And it's not an exact science <laughs> about how frequently you do it. Some people do it every three days, some people do it once a week. It doesn't really matter. It's just important that you give three drops 
over a shorter period of time. But one drop is a good preventative. You can get this actually at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue website. You can find it often at a lot of farm supply stores and you can search for liquid ivermectin Okay, it's got to be the 1% sterile solution. That's what I really recommend. So, do guinea pigs need shots? Nope, they don't need shots. The ivermectin helps, but even if you didn't give this to them right away, mange is somewhat common, but it's not something that I would necessarily worry about. Um, keeping their immune system boosted, giving them regular vitamin C either through the diet or supplementing it with something like Child Life Liquid Vitamin C. It's going to go a long way to keep them healthy, but it is somewhat common. It is one of the things that we see a lot when people bring their piggies in or especially piggies that are surrendered to the shelters because often they've been through a lot. They've been through a um, more struggles and they don't necessarily have the best immune system. The, the pigs from the breeders tend to be sick already and if they're sick with say a respiratory infection it's not uncommon that they also develop mange ringworm while their immune system's compromised which is one reason why you want to adopt from a guinea pig rescue don't shop adopt from a rescue because they know what to look for they are not going to adopt out sick piggies which is something that you run the risk of when you go to a shelter or to a pet store but definitely if you've got the chance to adopt from a shelter and you don't have a rescue near near you that's a, a really great way to save a life but then you'd want to take them to the vet which is a pretty good idea for any piggies that you're getting whether they come from a rescue or a shelter or god forbid a pet store you've made that mistake and then you discover my videos you discover a local rescue um it's never too late to play catch up to do the right thing and definitely getting a good vet that you trust getting those piggies there check out all the resources that I have on my website it's where I share everything that I've learned volunteering at the Los Angeles guinea pig rescue for over 10 years all right so I hope that answers that question and I hope that gives you a jumping off point to learn about all things guinea pig care related behavior taming diet, illness, and how to set up a really awesome cage. So check out my care guide, subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't. And until next time, <laughs> thanks for watching.